Walk around the compound See some tigers There's some beats and maybe some squeaks Here's some snuffles from Boom Boom! Boom! Snuffle! That is not a snuffle! Isn't that beautiful? How you doing? Look at you, bright-eyed and chipper. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, you'd never know that she actually, you would have never thunk it that she actually had a procedure yesterday, but she did. She did. She had a tumor. She had a tumor on her belly. It was a tumor. She was sleeping off her meds yesterday. I mean, she's doing good now. Well, she's doing good now. Probably gonna have to wait a little bit before we let her outside. But, yeah, oh, there's, yeah, there's the thing. And look at that, I mean, she, you know, had a surgery where like a, a big piece of flesh was taken up and, I mean, she's just up and just kind of walking around. Probably, probably smarts a little bit, but you know, it just kind of uh, speaks to their resilience. I think that that's kind of a neat thing. <sighs> have a, have a, a green eco smart uh, water thingamabob that's going to be uh, installed that uh, that Robert here is putting in. So yeah, hello, there's Robert. Um, take away our need for for the propane, for the propane pots and the propane accessories. Hi Raven, how are you? She doesn't care to be part of the webcast. Oh. Robert, are you an independent electrician? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah? I work for myself. He works for himself? Yes, I do. Oh, very cool. Do you have a card or anything? I do. Yeah? I do. I brought you one. Oh, can I see it? Sure will. Get this cover off. Well, then we can just film Tawny to just be in cute a little bit more. Until then. Da, da, da. I, know she, I know, baby. You want to go outside? But I gotta, we gotta wait for Heidi to get back. We gotta, we have to wait for Mother to get back before we allow that. I'm sure she'll say, yeah, like, yeah just let you out, but she's got to have the final say on such things. Oh, I see a card. Let me see that. Oh, look at that. Brown's Electric, very nice. Springtown, Texas, all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, I'm gonna head outside now. <laughs> Oh, beautiful brisk day. Beautiful brisk day. It's the morning. <gasps> Babies. Babies. How are you? Oh, I'll get to you in a bit, bud. Oh. He says, come and talk to me first, please. Don't talk to those children. Who wants to talk to children? Oh, my goodness. Hi. How are you? How are you, big boy? Ra, ra. Ra, ra. Ra, ra, sis, boom, ba. Oh, zooms. You're being sneaky. I see you. Look at you. He's trying to hide. Like, he doesn't realize that I can see through fencing. Oh, how did you know it was me? How did you know it was me? <gasps> Mother's home. Oh. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super fantastic filmed Thursday morning day of the webcast. I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, version of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, honey. How are you? Why do I gotta put it? I'm recording though. I'm recording the boys now. <laughs> She's got a surprise in the car. What kind of surprise? What is it? What is it? I love surprises. Oh yeah, um, Tawny, her surgery. Oh my gosh! Stuffed animals! Good baby, they have a special. 
They had a special on stuffed animals. I know that's my favorite too. Oh my god, it's soup! Easy, easy. It's raw soup. I don't know. Soup. That's soup. I couldn't see it very quickly. I know, couldn't see the tail. Oh, oh my goodness. What is this one? What is this one? All right, they got to go back in the car for now. They're for special. <laughs> get the, you got to get them all like hyped up. Oh, no, they, they got to choose them. They got to choose which ones are their favorites. Yeah. Because I think he thinks this red nose is blood. Ah, that's true. <laughs> There'd be some chicken. There'd be some chicken. I got you a chicken too. <laughs> <laughs> it was very cute. It's very cute. But yeah, no, Tawny surgery. Tawny surgery was yesterday. It went very well. It was really, it was quick. It was an in and out kind of thing. Um, filmed a bunch of stuff about that. Um, and uh, I'm gonna be editing the video together. It'll be up hopefully in a day or two. I, I can't exactly. Oh my gosh, Lily! Lily's back! Oh my goodness! She's back for a few weeks. She's gonna be helping us out, train the new crop of interns. So, yay, Lily. That's great. Helps us out a bunch. Oh, gonna be, where, where are you going? What? Oh. <laughs> hugs, yay, hugs. A tender Hallmark moment. Hi, Sass. What? You want a hug? I might hug you, but I would leave with lots of scratches and whatnot. I would leave with lots of scratches and holes in me. You know, I would have to, I would have, to have copious amounts of bandaging afterwards. So yeah, the surgery went well, but that's the thing, um, I, I've actually, oh man, been filming a bunch of stuff, been filming a bunch of stuff that just, I gotta kind of splice and edit and put together, you know, um, and, uh, that's just, it's, we've not been able to have a lot of time in which to do that, but, you know, filming stuff like this, the webcast, where you just kind of, you keep the camera on and then you put a, you put a title card on and then you put an end card on and then there you go. Like, and then you're good. Look at this. This is not how spoons go. It's not normally how spoons lay. So, yeah. Got something new. Got it. Well, got a couple things to um, to talk about. I know a lot of people have been like, hey, what about that bobcat that you've been talking about, Derek? What about that bobcat? Uh, no, it's still coming. It's still coming. And it may come uh, fairly soon. Fairly soon. So um, stay tuned for updates. I'm, we're, like, I'm, we can't sit there and say, oh, exactly, on January 12th is the, the date. Exactly. No, but it's just like there's things that have to take place, and then there's... You know, movement, it's not always just like a, it's not, I can't do like the Goku, you know, thing where he does that stuff on his head and then he like transports himself anywhere in the universe, you know, at the speed of thought. I can't do that. Bobcats don't work like that. Bobcats don't have magical teleportation abilities. He's whisper mooing behind his rock. He's hiding behind his rock and whisper mooing. <laughs> That's not way. That's not the way to hide. That's not a good way to hide, Mister. Yeah, but that's you're not gonna. That's not a success. You're not gonna have much success. You're not gonna have much success when you hide like that. That's not how hiding works. Oh boy. <sighs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, I filmed a lot of good stuff with the uh, uh, Tony surgery. With the Tony surgery. Um, other thing, Reddit did the Pride Strong subreddit, made the Pride Strong subreddit. And if you are a Redditor, then you should head on over there and check it out. Look at this, look at this big ol', look at his belly, 
Clyde, look at your belly. We gave him a body yesterday because we didn't have enough room in the freezer. Bonnie. <laughs> Here we go. So technically today is feed day. Today is feed day. Um, but we had uh, we had to give them. We had to give them a body. And here's this thing, the stupid thing about Bonnie and Clyde, is that we have to, and this, like it's difficult, you know, carry muscles, but put the body in here. So we have to get it into the door and then drag it all the way up into here. Um, because if we just put it in that side, if we put it in that side, and he, this is the other reason why we do this, because that guy right there, because that guy right there doesn't like locking up. He's not motivated by chicken. You throw him a piece of chicken and he's just like no, no thanks what else do you got so sometimes the only times we can get him to like lock up so we can clean the rest of the enclosure is when we put like his big food body into the lockdown okay so bonnie and clyde both come and they get into the lockdown and we're able to shut the door huzzah great great but i mean it's a little bit chilly tonight so we don't, we want them, them to have access to their other uh, housing units. So we can't just like, if it is like the summertime, like literally like maybe inclined to just like get them into the lockdown and then just shut the door behind them and be like, all right, this is where you're staying for the night while you eat your body. We'll let you out in the morning. And then it's like, okay. And then we come back and then they've got big old tummies like that. And they're like, all right, ready to go outside. But uh, no, gotta keep that door open now. It's colder. Um, and uh, if you put it in this section, of their of their lockdown area instead of this section then the next morning we'll come outside and then they will have drug the body out into the main enclosure thus defeating the purpose of trying to get them to lock up in the first place <sighs> some people like wonder like you know i'll sit there and like because i love clyde i love clyde he's got a great personality he's a stumpy bulldog tiger you know, and he kind of just like does his own thing at his own pace. But like, that's why sometimes I can get really frustrated with him because he also does stuff like that. Ugh. Frustrating, to say the least. But anyway, Pride Strong sub Reddit. And some of you don't know what Reddit is, but Reddit is a great uh, place for interneting. It is a great place to go and internet <laughs> grass around the compound and some people like so and i i want to i really definitely i'm going to keep on hammering that um or or promoting the subreddit because i think it's a good uh i think it's a really good extension of the community and a good extension of the pride because it's not dict because a lot of the other conversations that people have um regarding this place and about care about the cats and about things that they're interested in and 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 hi sugar pie hi selena how are you look at those pretty eyes but a lot of times the conversations that people have they happen in the comment section of content that um that i post or that jamie posts or that care posts and it's like all over the place it's like all over the place um and usually the conversations only can happen um, when one of us, when one of us here posts something. Now, the way that a Reddit page works is that if you have an account and you're authorized to post, which everyone is, I, I put like public authorizations on the posting of the, uh, subreddit. But, uh, if you, you know, it, it's a thing where, where anyone can, it's, it's user posting. Um, it is... It is up to the people. Like, and, and definitely I can go in there. I can post stuff. Absolutely. Um, it's, a, it's just a continuous, like, there's like, it's almost like a, a, a very updated version of, um, like, old school message boards and, and forums. Um, where you can link to articles. You can link to different uh, images. You can have text-based uh, conversations. So it's, it's a lot of those things kind of stripped down to a lot of nuts and, and bolts and plugs, but you get to go and link to a lot of them, uh, the coolest stuff that people are kind of uh, talking about. And the Pride Strong subreddit is a subgroup, a sub forum intended for conversations amongst care aficionados, big cat Derek aficionados, celebrity aficionados, conservation aficionados. 
So I am and I said like if you if so if you're a redditor go there but if you're not even if you're not a redditor just just set up an account and then go over there it's it's great once you kind of get the swing of it of how to do it and how how it works because the way that and, and I know that there's a lot of redditors who are rolling their eyes and they're just like okay Derek you kind of got it right but that's not exactly how some of this stuff works like okay I understand oh you got a lot of karma points sorry but um I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to the people who, uh, they don't, whoa, she just came up over that top and, and tried to be sneaky. Kill play, kill play, kill play, hashtag kill play, kill play. But I'm trying to talk to the people who are, they don't know what Reddit is and then they're a little bit leery or a little bit apprehensive about joining into that community when they don't know, you know. They don't know what it is and and it's just like it's sometimes like you know going into a new corner of the internet it's kind of like oh this is uncomfortable i don't like that but it's it's fine i'm gonna try to explain a couple of things and the way that uh the way that reddit works oh kind of drooly kind of drooly look at that look at that and and so many people love mr ace but he's got so much drool you know on him's face. <gasps> not a mean baby. He's not a mean baby. Whenever it comes to Heidi. I know. I feed him propaganda. You feed him, <laughs> feed him propaganda? Yeah. Inside can Answer. you do me a favor? What's that? Can I hold your um, that thing you have in your hand? The camera? And you can uh, go ahead and let Tani out. Can you oh, yeah, open her yeah, gate, yeah. please? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that. We were talking about that at the beginning of the uh, of the webcast. That that is like a decision that you know had to wait for your approval before we let. Well, out. she's very fussy. She wants I know, out. I know. Oh, we need to give her one of those toys. What do you mean it's stuck? It gets stuck on the mattress. Uh, it's on top of the mattress. It's not on top of the mattress. It gets stuck in between the mattress. Uh, use your big boy muscles. That's why I'm not up there. What? I said you have to use your big boy muscles because that's why I'm not up there. Ah, big boy muscles. I'll sue you, big boy muscles. He's making lots of noises. It's moving. Yay. Tony. Hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. What do I Come here, baby. Oh, you're very thirsty, aren't you? Oh, he's back. <laughs> muscles. <laughs> Not a problem, baby. Feeding him propaganda, feeding Ace propaganda. Um. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Well, what was I talking about before? Oh, um, the way that kind of that Reddit kind of works. I had to use my fingertips to get that. Oh, Max and Mia. Max and. Me. Hi. Hello. How are you? Oh my gosh, you can hear him. What a little dick. It's because I don't go in there and play with him often enough. Heidi goes in there and plays with him fairly regularly. That's kind of her unwind time. Um, and everyone is sitting there saying, like, oh, because I know that I talked about, you know, having, which was probably, which was probably an anxiety attack, um, that talk about, when I was talking about the last webcast, people are like, you gotta find time. 
You gotta find time for moose. Oh. That's what people said. You gotta find time for moose. I did. I do. I try to. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Oh, but yeah, no, I, 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 I do. I try. It's still, you know, stress still piles up. Try to have your things that you do that are just kind of relaxing. But, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, Reddit. Basically, anyone can go on and, and have conversations. And it's kind of been... So the people who are already on the subreddit right now, um, it's almost like they've been kind of waiting for like me to post stuff. But I, I didn't... I didn't make the subreddit, the Pride Strong subreddit, to just be a big cat Derek posts things and then people kind of look at it and then ingest the content and then like that's it. No, I want it to be, I want the the majority of the posting and the conversations to be, that to come from you, to come from the people, to come from the Pride. Um, that's, I think that that's, you know, ultimately the majority, the, the thing. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, steer the ship of, like, the, 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 the ebb and flow and the flavor of the subreddit. Things that kind of orbit the, the things that we appreciate and the things that we value in this contentosphere. It's a word I just made up. The contentosphere. I get chompers. Cute boy. Handsome boy. But, um, geez, it's already starting to warm up a little bit. I came out in this morning and it was, it was like really chilly and then already it's starting to get pretty warm. Kate. And then also the way that, uh, Reddit is kind of a, uh, it's got, it's got democratic features where if you post something, people can vote on that thing that you post. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. Um, people can post on, people can vote on the things that you post, and, and um, if people really like, if a lot of people are voting on the thing that you post within a thread or a conversation, or even like comments inside of like uh, individual threads themselves, uh, there's a de there's a democratic element where uh, certain things will rise up 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 like the ladder of prevalence within the page itself. So it's kind of like this uh, it's like this living breathing kind of thing. Um, the the page and it's all dependent on on user interaction. It's all dependent on on the activity that is within the community, and that's why I want a lot of people to go in there and and try it out. Um, and, and it's like, you know, it's like, well, I don't know what to talk about. But that's the thing. It's like, we're trying to kind of figure it out. We're trying to kind of turn that into the thing. And it's like, well, I don't know. I'm already kind of like doing a lot of stuff already, Derek. I'm like, I hear you. But this is, this is kind of different. Because notice I turned, I called it, I didn't call it the Big Cat Derek subreddit. I didn't want to call it that. I wanted to call it the Pride Strong subreddit because I wanted it to be, hi, bud. I wanted it to be, um... Something that the Pride had a say in its development as well. In that community. Because the Pride isn't just... Like I said, and I've talked about this in earlier, and I haven't kind of talked about it since. But the Pride is not just a Big Cat Derek fan club. It's not even just a Care Ice Q Texas fan club. It's more than that. I, at least I'd like to think it is. And I think that um, people's engagement with this... Um, with the subreddit can be a great way to kind of kind of get that get that that ship kind of like breaking the bottle on the hull of the ship and it slides in you know all majestically yeah conjuring up some imagery look at these boys look at these no i don't go in with them anymore look at them for obvious reasons Look at it. He's just going for the throat. He's just going. He is. He's just going for the throat. And they're playing right now. Hey, they're playing right now, but like he's still got like a, 
like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna go for the throat, I'm gonna go for the thing that's gonna kill, and he's not like legitimately trying to kill him, but he's sort of kind of, he's, he's engaging in kill-based behaviors, which uh, can escalate into actual, I'm gonna really try to kill you behaviors, but luckily they're both evenly matched as far as their physicality is concerned, so it, it, it always ends up kind of coming off into a draw. That's kind of, you know, that's how they can kind of live and coexist together. But, um, but their musculature and their skin uh, and their teeth and their, their, their skeletal structure is so much more powerful than ours. Like, I, people don't realize, even like people, because like people have this false kind of idea of like how strong they actually are. Um, maybe you exercise a lot and maybe you go to the gym and stuff like that and you've got like a really, got a really tight bod, you know? But, man, the the most fit human being, the most fit UFC fighter, something like that, still wouldn't be able to hold their own against the most unfit and chubby uh, tiger. They just couldn't. They just simply couldn't. Biology. It's a social construct. It's because you tell the tigers that they're strong and they believe it so much and then it influences their patterns of thinking and <laughs> we're getting into that one. You shouldn't make jokes about this, Derek. But you shouldn't make jokes about things that you don't understand. Oh, oh, oh so sorry. Oh my goodness. I can't make jokes about anything. Because who really understands everything? Hmm. Getting philosophical with Derek. Ah, oh, bought some Powerball. Yeah, bought some Powerball tickets last night. Last night was the uh, drawing for the 500 billion. Oh no, the 500 million. So half a billion. I wanted to use the word billion and I screwed it up. I did. I wanted to use, I know almost like a Carl Sagan kind of billions and billions. And kind of, kind of thing. Love Carl Sagan. Oh, I love him. Um, but, uh, ah, they're far away and they're boring, they're not doing anything. But, bought the, uh, Powerball, because why not? It's almost like, once it gets to be a certain thing, it's like, ah, you, I, I do it. I did it not because it's like, oh, I might win. But it's just like, you want to just be part of, like, the cultural kind of thing that's happening. And no one won. No one won. So, like, I guess that there's going to be a chance for even more, um, even more cash. And that would be something. Wouldn't that be just ridiculous, you know, if, uh, you know, if I, if I, if I did, I mean, cause like, obviously you guys would know like what I would do with like a very, not actually, no, I, I'm not even that sizable of a chunk. And that's, oh, you would just take it and just like half of that money would go into care. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Like not, not even, not even half. It would weigh, like, cause here's the thing to make this place amazing, wouldn't need that many millions of dollars um we could totally do it like relatively scalably small people like ask like what would you do with all that and don't get me wrong i would probably uh increase uh, some comfort factors um, i'm not gonna say that i wouldn't do that it would go all to the altruistic uh things in it no i would I, look i wouldn't i wouldn't i would certainly not uh live a lavish kind of lifestyle but uh i might try caviar for the first time <laughs> why not um but uh no what i would actually do like the big thing that i would do um not because because you know this is a charity i wouldn't just start donating money everywhere no wouldn't do that i wouldn't uh i i mean i would there would be some uh definitely chunks of it that i would donate no what i would do i would i would invest i would start investing and i would start investing um in some more obscure corners of uh of the market i would invest in um certain things uh you know like solar technologies uh and small startup companies for stuff like that um startup nanotechnology companies i would invest in uh companies that are being started and founded um in like sub-saharan africa or southern asia areas that these animals uh come from because when you start doing stuff like that, it will help to bolster um, the local populations. It'll help to bolster local economies. It'll increase the overall wealth 
of places. It'll, it'll increase the number of jobs that those places can offer and afford. Overall cost of living will start to go up. People's access to healthcare and medicine will go up. And this is like, you know, it's not just like if one person with a sudden massive influx of wealth, because I mean, really at this, like, even when you're talking about the scale of like large scale, global, um, socioeconomic politic type stuff, um, even half a billion dollars is, is a drop in the bucket as far as stuff like that is concerned. Um, but I think it would do a lot more good to do stuff, to do strategic investing, um, as opposed to just simply, uh, giving most of it to charitable organizations. But like I said, it, there would be a ton of it that would go to charitable, charitable organizations. I'm not saying that um, I wouldn't donate to a lot of places that, um, that could certainly use it. But yeah, that's kind of the idea. And then you would, and then here's the thing, you try to invest smartly in some of these, uh, in some of these places you know, that really need, like, uh, a, a vibrant and vigorous um, economic kind of infusions, injections. And then you actually start to see returns on those investments, and then you can invest more. It's almost like uh, you can, you can, you know, you can help more people, and you can help people for a more prolonged time. I mean, you know, free markets. I'm a, I'm a large proponent of it. Um, and they, okay, I, and not, I'm like, I, we have to, d d <laughs> we've got to disambiguate between just like the very basic fundamental aspects of what a free market means and then capital, capitalism and free markets, they, they kind of, they're within this, like they have parts of the Venn diagram that overlap, but realistically they're not the same exact thing. Just keep, capitalism, because I'm going to get a bunch of comments like that. Capitalism, you just want to just pay the pockets of like the big fat cats on Wall Street. No, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, yeah, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just like one of them, man. It's <laughs> not what I'm talking about. Uh, no, 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 no. But uh, helping people in, 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 in certain free market systems pull themselves up by their bootstraps, I do believe that that can have um, massive ecological benefits. I mean, look at, like, Africa. Like, one of the main... Here's, here's the thing you have to realize. Um, like, some of the biggest reasons why like lions um they just got put on the uh, uh endangered species list here in the united states which that's a good thing um that means that they're going to be afforded certain uh, uh federal protections which that's a great thing um but i uh, the the biggest reason why like like lions are losing like their habitat and they lose they're losing their habitat and also there's a lot of poor people um in that live neighboring lions that live next to lions um and uh, uh, a major element of them having like human animal conflict is that uh, a lot of poor people in these rural situations, they eat a lot of bush meat. They go out and they, they hunt and kill a lot of, uh, a lot of just like, just small, just game, just a ton of game animals out in the wild. Um, and it does have a noticeable impact on, uh, and this is just one small element of, 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 a, of a conservation, uh, issue. A lot of people go out and, and they, they, they eat a lot of bush meat, um, which affects the total, uh, uh, like predatory landscape. It affects like the available prey for a lot of animals. Um, and then that eventually gets up the food chain and it affects, uh, lions. And then it increases like human animal conflict. It brings, um, the, what, what, uh, agriculture actually is available. It brings lions into people's backyards a lot more prevalently but if you're able to increase like localized economies then you're able to utilize greater um technological advances even like greater fencing um things because more people are going to be able to have more money to just afford kind of nicer things um 
it hopefully would then drive down things like human animal conflict within the respective places that the economics would start kind of going up. And then less lions would uh, need to get killed like in a retaliatory fashion. Oh, jeez. Mud pie. Come on over here, man. No, come over here. This way. This way. Rascal. I, and, and again, a lot of times when I talk about these issues, it's like, like I'm talking like in very simplistic kind of terms, or I'm only like um, illuminating like one element of a multifaceted, uh, uh, you know, confluation of elements. You got to keep that in mind. There's way more to it than just, you know, rural people going out and getting bush meat and then that affecting lions. There's way more elements than that. But like that is like one thing and I'm, but I'm just trying to bring up an example of a thing that could be positively impacted um, by you know increasing economic investments in um, some of these uh, up-and-coming economies that are in the places that animals like this like lions and tigers that they live that they still live out in the wild real conservation is boring it, it is because you have to talk about like accounting and economics and you have to talk about posit like land management and you have to talk about you know things that are that are dull but that's the stuff that actually affects animals and there's other people who want to sit there and label themselves as conservationists or those who are interested in conservation but they're giving you just a line of crap you know they, they, they manipulate emotions more. They want to sit there and they want to hashtag everything. And they want to basically say just like, no, we're going to save all the animals. How are you going to do that? With love. Good luck. <laughs> Hope that works out for you. <laughs> so, but... I would like to think that we here at the Center for Animal Research and Education, we like to go a little bit kind of further with these things. We like to look at things from um, a very pragmatic and objective point of view as far as uh, that stuff is concerned. So even when we're kind of like engaging in, in like those conversations like, oh, what would you do with, you know, like your $300 million? We're not sitting there saying, yeah, no, of course, yeah, flights to Tahiti, you know, and, and, uh, and stuff like that. Sure, why not? But, um, but, uh, uh, oh, and I'll probably, I don't know. I honestly, I've never tried caviar. I probably won't ever. It's probably, I'll probably, someone will comment like, you know what? Caviar is actually like really, it's cruel how they collect it. And, and, and like, it'll actually make me just be like, all right, well, I guess I'm never going to try that stuff because like, there are certain things I just certainly, I don't eat. I don't eat any, like, I will never, I'll never do veal and lamb again, ever. Uh, I've never tried foie gras. I won't. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's, it's uh, animal meat and products and stuff like that that are obtained very inhumanely that, yeah, I certainly, you know, just, I can't, I can't do it. Um, I'm not, and, and that's another thing, I'm not trying to sit there and like, oh, look at me, I'm so concerned about things and the environment. Look at me and how special I am. I'm so like a good person. No, I don't do it because of that. I just, I literally do it because like, and I just hurt. I can't, I can't just like grab stuff off the shelf and be like, mm. right, I feel, I feel good about eating this stuff now. You know, I used to never be like that. What are you, a puss? <laughs> Again, calling back, calling back to an older webcast. <sighs> All right. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm making these webcasts a little bit longer. I don't intend to. I don't, <laughs> you know, I hope that, I hope that you guys still enjoy them, you know, um, despite the length of them. But yeah, go check out the subreddit. Go check out the thing. And it's not just, okay, the subreddit's not, again, it's not supposed to just be about conservation. You can talk about your favorite, you know, people, there's a, there's a subreddit on there that someone made, like, your favorite moments that have been on the content. Like, like, 
BCD and Care Jamie and, and Care Rescue Texas content, like what are your favorite moments that come from that type of stuff? And people are having really, they're having a lot of fun conversations. I mean, you can go and create a thread like, hey, like submit your art. Like submit like all of like your favorite, uh, and it's not like, you can have it like a little bit more like silly time, you know, the stuff that goes like, like Dahlia comics, you know, cause I know that like, um, Jamie puts on Fan Art Friday stuff with uh, the Care Rescue Texas, um, like Instagram and Facebook, and that's fine, but then you can do, but like the, the subreddit can, you can have a thread for like, you know, like a little bit more like comedic based like comics that are based around the cats and based around the animals. Stuff like that. You can talk about whatever, you know, whatever you want. I, but as long as, and I use like the, the reference, you know, like, like I, we try to keep it within like the, the orbit of like topics and things that um, we would talk about within this community. So, you know, adding a thread like, oh, Zayn Malik's 10 best beards, like go and vote on them now. Like, probably not, probably not something that we want in the Pride Strong subreddit. Oh, uh, I think that I had some other points that I wanted to make about some other things, but this one has just gotten so long. 40 minute webcasts. It's just like the webcasts have just like slowly just been building in time. What are you going to do? It's just how the things go, I guess. Anywho, you folks are awesome. Um, oh, familiar face shout out. Uh, I think I've even shouted this guy out before, but uh, I want to give a shout out to Adam Holly, um, who he makes the maps on Imager. And uh, he does stuff for um, the, he's done stuff on like YouTube and like made some funny like rebuttal videos on certain things that I've posted. And he's also now a moderator on the uh, subreddit. So that's why, again, I'm trying to promote that uh, subreddit. So he is a moderator uh, for that. So thanks a lot, familiar face, even though I've probably done you before. Why do people get double the shout outs and I only never get one? Oh my gosh. Um, but, uh, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll try to make them a little bit more of a regularity. I know that I've kind of not been doing them here and there, but we'll try to, we'll try to bring that back a little bit more. Um, anyway, talking way too long. I'll talk to you folks later. Bye-bye. Have a good day. We'll end it on my low.